Alright, and hello everyone, it is me, Jay Burns, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this charm right here. This charm is my own original design, and it is called the Jay Burns Mega Blossom Charm. Now, I do have a regular one, so it's a little bit smaller, and I also have a tutorial for the smaller version as well. And before you make the large one, you may want to check out this tutorial first and see what you're about to uh, watch or, you know. There is a smaller version, and there will be a link to this tutorial in the description. But anyway, I'll be showing you how to make the Mega Blossom here. So, to make it, you're going to need to know how to make a fishtail with just your hook. If you do not know... I will be making one, but I won't be explaining how you make a fishtail with just your hook. But if you would like an explanation and like a full tutorial on how you do that, I have one and it will be linked in the description. You'll need a hook. This is a hook only design. And you're also going to want to have a second hook, so you're going to want to have two hooks. One you're going to use to make the design and the other to hold the fishtails for the petals and I'll show you what I mean in a moment but you're going to want to have two hooks and if you don't have two hooks you can use the pins on a loom or you can use a pencil you just need something to hold rubber bands and stuff on and then one to make the design you will not need clips for this design because I'm going to be showing you how to close the charm off without any clips and yeah, you're also going to need rubber bands. And there are two different groups, the A and B group. I'll explain what they both are. The A group, the A rubber bands, they are going to be the rubber bands used in the petals. So these brown and blue rubber bands, or caramel and blue rubber bands in this example. And I'll be using two colors in this tutorial as well. Then the B rubber bands, they are going to be the rubber bands here in the middle. So the mango yellow rubber bands here on this example and these rubber bands also include the last rubber band in the charm and the last rubber band is the one you use to close the charm off and you can see it more clearly with this little one here it's this rubber band here alright so to figure out how many bands you'll need just go down to the description it will tell you exactly how many bands you'll need and yeah so just go ahead use the pause button to get the supplies you'll need and we're gonna go ahead and get started all right so to begin making the J Bur or the mega J burns blossom charm you're first going to need all of your a color rubber bands and what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to make five fishtails that use 33 rubber bands in each. And it did say that down in the description, but anyway. Yeah, you're going to need to make five fishtails that use 33 rubber bands each. And I have already taken the time to make four of them. So this tutorial does not end up being an hour long because it does take a little while to make these. And I'll be showing you myself making the last one that I need for the charm. And yeah. So if you already have made, if you're, oh wait, never mind. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and make the fifth fishtail that I need. And yeah, once you finish making a fishtail, you're going to put it on that second hook or on your loom or on that pencil, whatever you're using to hold your rubber bands and stuff, that's where you're going to put the last rubber band of your fishtail on. So, like what I have here. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and make the last fishtail that I need for my flower. Use the pause button if you need to, to finish making all five of yours. And also, before we do begin, one thing I like to do is I like to go ahead and count out how many rubber bands I'll need for the petal. So I like to go ahead and get 33 rubber bands out. And then once that little pile of 33 bands runs out, that means I've used everything I need for that fishtail. So that's just a little 
tip for making these. And I already have 33 here. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started now. Enough talking. And I do apologize if I go off camera a little bit. It's kind of hard to show you the whole thing. Because my hands keep going up like this. Let me adjust my camera. Alright, I'm getting down to my last couple bands now. Try to finish this up as quickly as possible.
All right, so for that very last rubber band there, you, or you're gonna add, you're just going to pull it through all the bands that are on your hook, and then just close off the fishtail like so. So you're just gonna go ahead and make five of these, and once you've finished making a fishtail, you're going to want to get that second hook or whatever you're using, and just put those rubber bands that are on your hook that are used that's being used to make the design you're just going to put those bands onto that new hook like so and now as you can see here I have all five of my fishtails that I need so now once you have done you've gotten to this stage as well it's now time to get your B color rubber bands and we're going to go ahead and get started alright so to begin, you're going to get a fishtail from that extra hook that, or whatever you're using. So go ahead and get two of those bands. There you go. You're going to go ahead and get a fishtail from that other thing you're using to hold all of them. And once you do, you're going to take this side of the A collar ripper band that's sitting there on your hook right now this side here closest to the actual part of your hook you're going to take that off and kind of put it on your finger like this so that it's not on your hook but it's not completely loose and just sitting around it and yeah and once you have something like this you're going to get the cap band on the other end of the bracelet or on the other end of the fishtail and it's like this circular rubber band here on the other end and sometimes it looks like this but you're gonna get that cap band and put it on your hook just like so and then you're gonna put the other end of the rubber band that you're holding on your finger onto the hook again alright now we're going to get two B color rubber bands and we're gonna put them both on our hook just like so and then all these A color rubber bands that are already on your hook, you're going to slide those onto those two new B color bands. All right. Now, once you've gotten that, you're going to get two more B color rubber bands. Put them both on your hook the same way you did the first two, and slide these B color rubber bands that are already on your hook onto these two new ones. Now, once you've done that, before you put the other end of the two new B color rubber bands on your hook, just kind of have them on your finger there, and you're going to get another fishtail. So get another fishtail from that hook or whatever you're using. So you're going to get another fishtail and put it on this hook here that you're making the charm on. And you're going to do the same thing with this fishtail. You're going to take this side of that A color rubber band there that's on your hook right now, closest to the actual part of your hook. You're going to take that off, and you're going to put that on your finger with the two B color bands. Then, you're going to go ahead and get the cap band here on the other end of the fishtail. Looks like this circular rubber band. Sometimes it looks like this. But you're going to get the cap band and put it on your hook, just like that. And once the cap band's on there, you can put all these rubber bands that are here on your finger onto your hook. Right, make sure you have something like this on your hook here. And once you do, you're going to get two more B color rubber bands. Put them on your hook like so. And then all these rubber bands that were already on your hook, you're going to slide them all on to this, or these two new B color bands. Once everything's on there, you can go ahead and put the other end of these two new bands onto your hook. And now we're going to add another pedal. So, to add a pedal, we just get two more B color rubber bands. Put them on your hook, like so. 
and slide these B color bands that were already on your hook onto these two new B color bands. And then, before you put the other end of the new rubber bands onto your hook, you're just going to have them there on your finger, and you're going to get another fishtail. So get those two bands like that on your hook. Right, you want to do this quickly. Anyway, then once you have your fishtail here on your hook, you're going to take this side of that A color rubber band you just put on there, this side closest to the actual hook part of your hook. You're going to grab that side there, take it off your hook, and put it on your finger with those B color bands. Then you're going to get your cap band on the other end of the fishtail and put it on your hook. And then all these rubber bands that are here on your finger and probably cutting off your circulation, you're going to go ahead and put those onto your hook after you get your cap band on there. So yeah, you probably want to do this step quickly because it's not a very comfortable thing on finger. But anyway, once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and get two more B color rubber bands, put them on your hook like so, and slide all of these rubber bands that are already on your hook onto the new B color bands. And I do apologize if I was going a little bit too fast. If I was, just use the pause button, of course. But, yeah, anyway. Now we have three out of five petals that we're going to add to our charm. So we're going to go ahead and add another petal. And to do that, we're going to get two more B color rubber bands. Put them on our hook like so. Slide these other two B color bands that were already on your hook onto the new ones. And now here's where you want to be kind of quick. But instead of putting the other end of these two new B color bands on your hook, you're just going to have them on your finger. You're going to get another fishtail and put it on your hook. Oops. Once it's there on your hook, this A color rubber band that you just put on your hook, this loop here that is closest to the actual part of your hook, you're going to grab that and take it off your hook and put it on your finger with th these other two B color rubber bands. Then you're going to get the cap band here on the other end of the fishtail, put it on your hook, and once it's on there you can put these rubber bands that are here on your finger onto the new or onto your hook. Alright, and you should have something like this on your hook. Cap band should be in the very center. Alright, and once you have that there, you're going to get two more B color rubber bands. Once again, put them both on your hook like so, and slide all of these bands that are already on your hook onto these two new B color bands. Then once everything's on there, you can put the other end of the new rubber bands onto your hook. And now we have four of the five petals we'll be adding. All right, so now we just need to add one more petal. It's the exact same little process that we've been doing. You're gonna go ahead, you're going to get two more B color rubber bands. on your hook like so. Slide these two B color rubber bands that are already on your hook onto the new one here. Then before you put the other end of this B color rubber band onto your hook, you're going to kind of just have it sitting there or have them sitting there on your finger like this. Then you're going to get another fishtail and this should be the last fishtail you're going to be using. You're going to put it on your hook, just like that. 
Then you need to get this side of that A color upper band that you just put on your hook. You're going to grab that side there, take it off your hook, and put it on your finger with these two B color bands. Then you're going to get your cap band on the other end of the fishtail and put it on your hook just like so. And once it's on there, you can put these rubber bands here that are sitting there on your finger, put those on your hook. And now, finally, you won't need your finger to hold rubber bands anymore. Yay! So, once you have all that on your hook, you're going to go ahead and get two more B color rubber bands. And you're just going to just put them on your hook just like this. And then you're going to pull all these rubber bands that are already on your hook onto these two new bands. And once they're all on there, you can put the other end of these two new B color rubber bands onto your hook just like that. And now you have all five of your petals that you're going to be adding. Alright, so now you should have three B color rubber bands left. What you're going to do is you're going to take two of them. You're going to put them both on your hook just like so. And you're going to take these two B color rubber bands that were already on your hook and you're just going to put them on there. And before you put the other end of this of these two new B color bands on your hook, you're going to find the first petal. So, it's right here. The first one in the chain. And you're going to take your hook and you're going to stick it through all of the rubber bands that are attached to the A or the B color rubber bands, the first B color bands in the chain. So, so all of these purple rubber bands for me, it's just all A color rubber bands. So we have this little loop here. We have the cap band and then the other side. So you should have put four new little loops on your hook. And they should all be A color rubber bands. Once they're all on, you can put the other end of the new B color rubber bands onto your hook as well. And now it's time to close off the design. So, you're now going to get your last B color rubber band that you're using for this charm. Put it on your hook just like all the other B color bands. Then, once you have that, you're going to pull all of these bands that were already on your hook onto this new B color band. Then once it's all on there, you're going to make a slip knot with this new rubber band. So first you need to put the other end of the new band onto your hook, like so. And this time, instead of grabbing the rubber band, or the little loop here, closest to the actual part of your hook, you're going to grab this side of the rubber band that's farthest away from the actual part of your hook. So this little loop here, you're going to grab that. And you're going to pull it off and over your hook. Make sure you keep the other loop on there. And once you've pulled that other loop off, you're going to give this remaining loop a tug here on your hook. Make sure you hold down the charm. And this should tighten the slip knot. Don't tighten it too much or pull on it too much because it might break the rubber band. But once you've tightened the slip knot, you can take that loop there off of your hook. Do some quick adjusting to your little charm here. And then what you can do with this little loop is you can either cut it off or you can so you can either cut it off with scissors. Just hold it and then make sure you're a pretty good distance away from the actual knot and then just cut it or you can do what I like to do which is take the little loop there just take the little loop that's remaining from the slip knot pull it up and over one of the petals I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this one pull it up and over the petal so now it's around it like this then you're going to 
twist the loop while it's still there on your on the new pedal or on the pedal and then the new shape you create you're gonna put it going back over the pedal and you're gonna grab one of these two loops and you're gonna twist it again and then put it going back over the pedal and you'll keep doing that until it's as small as you would like it to be and I think I did it enough times And yeah. And that is how you make the Mega J Burns Blossom Charm. So now it is time for the outro. So I would like to thank you for watching my tutorial. Hopefully, it showed you how to make the J Burns Blossom Charm successfully. And hopefully, now you are enjoying your little charm and you think it's kind of cute and all that stuff and doing fun stuff with it. Like whatever you do with charms add it to your collection but yeah if you liked this charm and you haven't checked it out yet you might want to go and check out the smaller version which this is actually just the regular version of the J Burns Blossom Charm the tutorial is down in the description and yeah so that's pretty much all I have to say for this tutorial other than thanks for watching and 